Hello YouTube and welcome to Theater Talk. For today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I get ready for a show. On the day I'm posting this video, Beauty and the Beast is closing, which is really, really sad because then I have to go find another theater job. But it's been such a great experience and I wanted to share this little bit of information with you guys. This video is kind of the basics of what I do for every show because every show is a little bit different. Getting ready for a show is different at every theater because of the facilities that you're provided with, the theater you're working at, the people who are in the dressing room with you, how big the dressing room is, etc, etc. So there's a lot of different factors that go into making it a different experience every time. So I hope you enjoy this video of me showing you around how I get ready for a show. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. In the comments down below, let me know how you get ready for a show because everybody's way of getting ready is completely different. So it's good to hear what different people like to do in different situations. Now, let's get into the video. First things first, I have to arrive at the theater. The first thing I do when I get to the theater is sign in on the sign-in sheet so the stage manager knows that I've arrived. The day I filmed this video, I got there a bit early so I could be the first one at the theater and take care of all this stuff on my own, but I like to get settled and take my time to sit, relax, and get ready for the show. At every theater I've worked at, you have your own individual station where you can have your wig, your hats, your anything that goes with your costumes, your makeup, all that kind of personal things there. So I like to sit down at my station, check myself in the mirror, and then get ready. <music> I like to start with hair and makeup because that's the thing that will always and forever take me the longest when I'm getting ready for a show. For most shows, I'm wearing a wig, so I have to put my hair up in pin curls. And yes, even though I have short hair, it still takes me about 25 minutes to pin curl my hair because my hair is so thick. If you've never pin curled your hair before, how you do it is that you section out a piece of your hair, and then you take it around your finger, wrap it around a couple times so it's curled up, and then you pin it in with two pins across each other. Next, after my hair, is my makeup. The makeup for every show is a little bit different, but since this one is set more in real life kind of thing, and in the world of Disney, I do it as my everyday makeup routine that I showed you in a previous video. I just amp things up a little bit more with fake eyelashes, some blush, darker eyeshadow, a little bit more bigger things, and bright lipstick as well. kind of makeup that I did for producers and for Bring It On. Whereas when I did Oliver, they wanted us to wear less makeup. We still had some on, but it was more of just a basic base kind of makeup to make us look more like villagers and like we were in the time period. Whereas with Cats, that is extreme stage makeup. So we had to fully paint on a full face of makeup and then set it with setting powder and setting water and all that kind of stuff to make sure it didn't come off during the show. Fake eyelashes are usually the bane of my existence in the process of doing makeup for a show, but somehow during Beauty and the Beast, it was very easy. So that's a nice change. Stretching is one of the most important things I think I do before a show. My warm-up playlist has just been the Head Over Heels cast recording. Has a really good beat throughout the entire thing and helps me get really pumped up for the show. I think that stretching and warming up is so important before doing a performance because one, it helps you get like your legs higher and your splits better and all this kind of stuff to make the tricks and different bits of choreography in the show look better, but also it ensures that you don't injure yourself. For me personally, it's a great way to take some time for myself to just plug in headphones and listen to music and really focus on what I want to do in the show and how I'm going to do it the best that I can. During college for all of the shows that I did, we did a group warm 
warm up with the entire cast, which I ended up leading as being a dance captain or assistant choreographer for a lot of the shows that I did. But for this one, we're doing kind of things on our own, which I really like because it gives me time to focus on myself and take like 15 to 20 minutes to really do my own thing and get myself ready for the show after having done all my hair and makeup and just really focus on my body and how I want that to be prepared. My warm up is very well planned out to the Head Over Heels cast album because I do the first two songs as a kind of jazz warm up, and then when it hits Vision of Nowness, it becomes my little ballet bar. There are some things I must never reveal about the way I think and what I feel. Keep the surface smooth, calm and cool, eyes as deep and blue as a swimming pool, and I can fence with certainty. Since I do some cooter slams and a ton of kicks in this show, I make sure to stretch my legs a lot. So I spend a lot of time sitting on the floor in a split or stretching my legs up in any kind of way I can. I don't have to preset my costumes in every show that I'm doing, it just kind of depends on the quick changes that are going on, but with Beauty and the Beast I have a bunch during Be Our Guest, so I always have to preset one of my costumes onto the other side of the stage before the show starts, and then preset the other costume change in Be Our Guest during the show. And then the last part of getting ready is just getting into my costume. I start with putting on my microphone so that the audience can hear what I'm saying and singing. And then the wig cap goes on top of that to cover up my pin curls and to cover up the mic to keep them protected underneath the wig and make sure that they stay in place. And then the wig goes on on top of all of that. <laughs> as well, which I showed you guys in the Silly Girl Lookbook. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it in the description below so you can check out more of the details of my costume and this other costumes that I wear throughout the entire show of Beauty and the Beast. <music> is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of a behind the scenes of what I do to make sure I can give the best performance possible in any kind of show I'm doing. Like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments down below how you get ready for a show. And also in the comments down below, if you're doing a show, what show are you doing? What are you excited for? What part are you playing? All that kind of stuff. I love hearing about people's jobs and successes and things like that. If you're auditioning, let me know what is going on in the audition process for you. If you have any questions for me about anything like that, I kind of want to make some more videos about the audition process with audition season starting in full swing at the current moment here in New York City. So let me know if you have any questions about any of that down below there as well. Thank you so much for watching DFTBA and I will see you guys next time.
Bye.